So my first build is going to be the um, catapult, Leonardo da Vinci catapult. Um, so I'm going to unbox this, and I'm going to show you what's in here, and then we'll get started. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but try not to keep it too, too long. So this might be the first of a few videos. We'll see. It just kind of depends on how long it takes. So. All right, so pull it out. See a manual in here, and that's about it. So, here's the manual. This is uh, provided to us by Pathfinders, Leonardo da Vinci Catapult. And you can see the schematic. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's got, um, it's definitely got some torsion in there. You can see that. Some tension there in the two, in the two like, uh, almost like columns or sticks. And they're gonna bend. Uh, with this uh, with these wires or these I should say like this rope if you will it goes around and it just it uh, causes this throwing arm to come up so what they call it a swing arm so what we're gonna do first is like anybody that's <laughs> responsible for building anything you want to make sure you have all the parts first before you build because if you don't you start building and you're missing that one piece it can become very frustrating and sometimes companies want you to send back the whole kit to verify that you're missing that piece. Uh, so we're going to do that first. So, um, all right. So end piece, groove in the middle. Okay, that's number one. It's supposed to have two of those pieces. Okay. So... That's that. So we have two pieces, that works. And then number two says middle piece. And that's just one, one piece. That's only got two holes in it. Oh, I see, this is number four actually. So that's what that was. This is number two. It's got two holes in it right here. Number one, it's got the groove in the middle, but that doesn't look like it's in, in the middle. It's a little bit off to the sides, offset. This is actually number three and 3A. 3A has two holes in it. Okay. I'm just putting everything in order from what I see in the diagram here. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So, so the way that this lays it out, I'm doing that as well down here, so. Just making sure I have everything that I'm supposed to have. Let me move the camera a little bit. So I'm gonna get the door just in case somebody walks in. They're like, oh, I don't wanna be on camera. And that could be any of my kids in here. So, all right. So we've got these two things. This is called the tensioning arms. That's what we was talking about earlier. So that's what's gonna cause tension, or I guess in this case, torsion around the the thing that we're winding up. That's down here. Okay, this is a dowel, 13, but we're gonna, call it, they call it the swing arm, but basically it's a dowel. It goes there. Wow, this is huge, look at that. This here, they call this the number five, the winding drum. That's what's gonna provide the torsion. Okay. Remember, if you recall, last week we were talking about um, how triangles are very, very important. They provide a lot of uh, a lot of strength because of the angles. Okay, these these angles are acute, and you can tell right here if you put these together here, creates a perp um, perpendicular, makes us being become perpendicular, ninety degree angle. Um, this one here is uh, what's this number seven angled support. So. Makes sense. So we got four of those. So, let's see. All right, that's one more and one more. That's that. This one here is what we we're talking about earlier. This is actually number two. The middle piece is notched out. And so we're supposed to have two of those. 
and indeed we do have two. So that goes here. All right, let's see if I got everything accounted for. Mostly, it's missing a couple pieces. This part right here is 14. This is the throwing spoon, so this is obviously going to go on the on the dowel here, right? But we're probably going to have to end up putting some glue on this to make sure we adhere this correctly. This right here is 12, I believe. Main brace, and we've got two of those. This is number six. This is the ratchet. This is what's gonna ratchet back to increase torsion or tension, which is torsion on this, the winding drum. So that's gonna go right here. Let's see, all right. This piece here, not sure what this piece is. I'll find out in a second. Hopefully, number eight. Uh, this is the release arm. It's about the winding drum. Okay, we're getting there. This piece here is, hmm, wow. If I can find out what this piece is, that'd be nice. Oh, number 10. That's got a hole, in the, hole right here. So this is the swing arm stop. And then, of course, all the other little pieces here. This is clay. It's not, it doesn't show in the schematics, but it says there on the bottom. We got all these little pieces here. And it's too many to actually show you, but basically, I, I should say piece by piece, but basically they're all right here. It's got all these little pieces. So this is definitely gonna take a while. This is definitely not gonna be an easy build, but I will build it uh, step by step. I'll show what I'm doing. I'll probably um, try to figure out how to edit the video so that way you're not here sitting the whole time going, wow, he's gonna build this in like three hours. So it might actually take three hours. It might take the whole day, but I'm gonna do it in stages because we have to wait for the glue to dry. And uh, so we're gonna, there's gonna be a waiting period involved in building this, so. Anyways, Godspeed. See you guys later. Until the next video.